four cups here and this is very interesting the way she painted this i'm just going to show you guys check that out it's like there's heaven right and then you have that divine water coming down from heaven the inspiration and to fill your cup here to fill your cup right from the divine source itself that's so beautiful then you have another hand reaching out with the flower bringing you another cup if it wasn't enough it was kind of like if it's not enough that we're bringing you the inspiration and that divine love and filling your cup from up here guess what we're going to manifest it in the physical and let it grow from beneath you so you can see that we're supporting you from all sides we are creating a strong foundation for you in love the thing is here but do you see it clearly we have the one two i forget this number all the time one two three four five six seven we have the seven of cups here you see that genie though she's kind of like a distraction she can be a distraction but she's giving you a lot of choices there's a lot of options but there's a lot of like also kind of like here's this one here's this one so that can be overwhelming at times having too many options and then some of them can be also a distraction or a diversion so it's kind of like make sure that you are seeing things clearly and using that divine information that is coming down filling your cup for you because it's like here we're bringing you soulmate but we're also going to bring you f boy i'm not going to say that you know the other word for f boy but you guys know eggplant emoji water squirting boy so we're going to bring <laughs> we're going to also throw at you your your type your pattern your F boy, and we're gonna see how you fare because you're telling us, you're telling us, oh universe, please bring me, I'm ready, I want to. But then you see F boy and you're like, ooh, he's hot though. Even though he's the wrong type or he could be toxic, the red flags go up, but you're still kind of like, yeah. so weigh your decisions. Make sure you notice what, what what is there. Make sure you know what your options are. That's all this is. Be aware you have options be aware what they are and that you're clear in yourself what they are one two three four five one two three four five six seven eight that's what I thought okay this is the eight of cups I see you leaving something behind or someone maybe you feel like the thing about this these cups are not bad these cups are fine they're gold they're beautiful they're shiny I've built this wall up with these cups but they don't satisfy me like they used to satisfy me maybe i'm uh tired of drinking from this cup maybe it does no longer sustain maybe it no longer sustains me so i am ready to look again see how he's looking at the moon i'm ready to look up and ask the universe again for their assistance right and that's what we're starting the reading off with that way I know which direction, which path to travel. And it kind of, it's funny because it's like the beginning and the end of the story kind of circle. Which path I need to travel and here's so many options. Here's all the options right there. Here's all the options. So make sure you those options that you're looking at them with a fine tooth comb. Is it a divine opening up for you? Or is it you wanting to see what you want to see and repeating patterns? Hi, Cindy. I am doing zodiac horoscopes today. We did the first half yesterday. We're doing the second half. This reading right now is for Capricorn. In no particular order. If you're a Taurus, Aquarius, or Sag, I know for sure I did your reading yesterday in yesterday's video. So you can go check that out. There's two more signs in there. I can't remember for the life of me what they were. Okay. Taurus, I did you yesterday, Taurus, and you're the first one I did yesterday. So if you look at yesterday's video of me, Taurus, you're the first reading I did. And I think it's at eight minutes. I believe it's eight minutes uh, where it starts, your Taurus reading starts. Um, I only know those two because those are the only ones that I looked up today. I didn't get a chance to look at all the, the rest of the video yesterday to timestamp them. Okay, um, we are on Capricorn. We're looking at your career reading right now. And if you're getting a reading from me, know that we are doing love, 
career, message from heaven, kindness from heaven, and what your guides want you to know. All right. It looks like you have a lot going on here, friend. Um, Capricorn. The fool card is your beginning of your journey. Everyone is represent. Everyone is a fool at some point because this is like the beginning. The um, you're starting to feel inside of you that a change needs to happen. Okay, this is like the beginning of the knowing, and this is career. So when we're like this, it's like we're holding on to things too tightly, and like things are kind of like out of balance. But I feel like in this situation, it's kind of like uh, this career path that you're on is really not serving you it's not fulfilling you as it should be we have a transition happening here with the death card there is definitely a change happening here one two three four five yes a change happening here why because you have the five of coins the five of pentacles feeling left out in the cold <laughs> feeling left <laughs> feeling like you're left i'm not laughing at you I just got a weird text uh, feeling like you've been left out in the cold. Maybe you feel like you're not being seen or you're being overlooked. For whatever reason, you feel like someone is giving you the cold shoulder. You don't feel included in this in this, uh, this placement right now. So it feels like a change is happening for you with that death card. And it's going to be for your best. So be optimistic like the fool. Be excited like the fool. Um, make sure you're keeping your vibration heightened. That way you can manifest that beginning that is that is coming. And I want you to know that in tarot, the death there are several methods of endings. The death card is the natural ending. That means like a flower. There's a natural time cycle for everything. And it is naturally now that this career should be ending. Okay, for you, Capricorn, you're getting a message from heaven. Wow, I am leaving school career for something else. There you go, KJ. She's the Capricorn. And it's because it's the it's time. That's why. It's, it's just time. This is your message from heaven. Message from heaven for Capricorn. It is beautiful where I am. It is beautiful where I am. That is your message from heaven. Let's see what the kind words for, from heaven are for you. Whee. And I am actually working on developing, well, I've already illustrated the major arcana for a tarot deck I'm creating. I'm in the midst of writing it. I hope to have that publishing soon. And for you, it is beautiful where I am, message from heaven, with the kindness that says, thanks for being you. Thanks for being you. That's pretty. It's like sometimes we have to be reminded how special and unique and beautiful and abundant and worthy we are. All right, let's see what the universe has for you, Capricorn. I'm hungry. My mom made mofongo. Does anybody know here what mofongo is? It's like platanos, so it's like plantains. But like you can make like plantains two ways. There's like a sweet one, and then there's kind of like a savory one. Oh, look, you got a lot of messages, Capricorn, from Universe. Universe has a lot to tell you. And just so you thought, you thought this was some basic Karen type message. The message from Karen, <laughs> universe still wants to remind you that everyone has value. Exactly what I'm saying. We needed to be reminded we have value. Okay. So if this kind of card wasn't enough, it was like, I'm sorry. Universe is like, did I stutter? Did you not understand that that wasn't a basic Karen message? That that was actually a message for you? Journey within. You're going to be able to experience this value even more deeper if you journey within. Because we're so used to seeking, seeking uh, validation from the outside, from other people, from situations. 
And you can't. You can't do that because what you're doing is when you do that, you're tying in your value to that. So you have to give without expectation. Universe is harping on you on this one, friend, Capricorn. Give without expectation. Don't hold your breath. No tit for tat. In giving, the act of it itself is the reward because our heart expands. All right. Just in case you guys thought that was a, a, a basic Karen reading, Universe was like, no. <laughs> um, Destiny, you hope you didn't miss Aqua. Aqua Aqua. I did yesterday. It is at 19 minutes and 35 seconds. Look at my video message, so go check it out. I'm going to hold off on that one.